It is April 1st and it is 8.50 in the morning. So hence why I'm so dead. Like I feel like I'm not energetic at all. Literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. Um, but I'm in the process of making sea moss for my smoothie. I usually um, have this daily. I don't really drink coffee. Um, so I need to make sure to boil the water so I can actually boil the sea moss. But I actually soaked the sea moss um, overnight, so it should be good to go. I'm just gonna boil it and then blend it. So there you go. Okay, y'all, so I made the sea moss, but the thing is I totally messed it up. Like, I don't know if you guys see that. It's, like, so liquidy. It's not supposed to be as liquidy. In my mind, you know when you do something and it's like, Imari, don't do that, but you try it anyway? I should have never put that much water in the pot, and I knew that, and I still did it, and it came out super watery. The thing is I'm definitely still going to keep this, and I'll just drop it in my smoothies, but it's not the right consistency. So I'll just be ordering some new sea moss or whatever so i'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator and pretend it never happened so i'm about to get some cereal usually in the morning i like to have this pashi cereal i don't know i had it once and i was like oh this is good um but it's also like really healthy for you so i've been eating for the most part <laughs> really balanced really healthy and i see such a change in my mood y'all it's like not even funny I used to be a night a nap queen <laughs> and now I'm barely taking naps like literally barely taking naps I think during this whole quarantine I took two naps during the day which is really good for someone like me because I stay sleeping one thing about me I'm a nap you guys should also know by now I really really love the Oatly oat milk so I just pour this in there and just so my cereal is not too bland, instead of using like sugar or anything like that, I like using organic blue agave. So I just sprinkle just a little bit because I'm like, this is a little, it's no sweetness like that. You know, it just makes the cereal a tad bit better, just a tad. Um, so yeah, y'all. Um, today on the to-do list, you guys know that I am a teacher. Um, so I have two meetings on Zoom. I feel like my life is on Zoom. Zoom is life. <laughs> um, so I have two Zoom calls and then I have to call parents and actually do instruction like over the phone for kids today. Um, and then I also have to do stuff for the wedding. Like the wedding is coming up in 107 days. And I'm just like, wow. Like, it's one thing to plan a wedding, but it's one thing to continue planning in the midst of this when nothing is open. A lot of people are coping in different ways, which is understandable. I I empathize definitely, but it's like, bruh, I still have contracts that's not given to me. I have um, to find a makeup artist. Me and Jose have to buy wedding bands, and I'm just like, oh my. Like, what am I supposed to do? But I'm just trying to keep God first and really plug into him and trust him because he knew this was going to happen. Um, but it's just, like, unfortunate that, like, I still have to find motivation 
to plan this in the midst of the storm because it's not just me, but it's like everybody that you're working with, right? Um, so I think that's the most difficult thing um, for this time is to like let go of control, like still do what you got to do, but let go of control of like, oh, this should have been like this and that. Like this is definitely something we will never forget, never. Um, but yeah, I'm about to eat my breakfast here. Um, and then you're going to see how I get ready for work, which is nothing. I'm probably going to do eyebrows again. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup because I've been in the house. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I will put on makeup. Maybe I won't. But I'll, after, I'll catch you guys up after I eat um, my breakfast. You love me. It's special. finished my makeup so this is the simple makeup of the day just in case you know i have to be on the phone call with parents facetime and zooming them i don't want to be looking crusty so i was like okay let me just put something on to look a little bit more presentable so yeah i use um the mac blush and raisin and y'all it's such a throwback but it's amazing blush for like brown skin dark skin so if you're into blush you definitely get your hands on raisin by mac i'm telling you guys you would freaking love it so i have like five minutes to my meeting um and then i have to call parents so i'm gonna head over to do that before i have no job <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs> this is my little desk. So I have a whole bunch of random stuff on here, including this Pixie PR package, this journal, but I love this scripture. So I will forever keep that there. Um, all my prayers <laughs> that have been answered. And a picture of me and Bay, Clorox wipes, mad random. My Cynthia, this random book that I got as a gift. Don't mind the quarantine nails, they're a mess. And my computer. So guys, I'm back with a praise report. Like, oh, oh my gosh. So I look back in the fridge and this actually like is now a gel. It's like magic. <laughs> and I'm just like, I was so upset for no reason because I thought I actually wasted it and I would have to hit up the person, you know, to get more and like, I was kind of disappointed. But now I'm like, wow, Imari, like you did the right thing. Like it was fine. So it actually like, it's like a gel form now. So yay, I'm super happy about that because without sea moss and just having like my green smoothies, which I'll make a separate video on, I can see such a difference in my energy. So yeah, I'm so happy to have my sea moss. I can continue to make my smoothies and a video will come as to how I'm making it. So yay. to for one get my green smoothie on so i have my green smoothie i have a video coming up with like my favorite smoothie recipe so stay tuned that should probably be dropping within like another week or so um so yeah i have my green smoothie and then also my water best water ever i had a really bad water day yesterday so hoping to actually finish this and then refill it this morning i'm actually up trying on 
some clothes so obviously if you guys know beyonce dropped the ivy park collection and i got the dress um but i really wanted to try on some spring clothes because sometimes you have that urge and that itch to shop and it's like i have so many clothes in my closet that i didn't wear or like didn't piece together in a certain way so i was just like okay let me just try on clothes but within my own closet and then um just put it together you know for the spring like when we can actually go outside and play <laughs> so yeah i have on this dress so i'm gonna show you guys like exactly what i try on so y'all this is the first piece so you guys know that beyonce launched a collection with adidas um so this is exactly what i've got to purchase like i wanted something else but i got the dress and i cannot wait to wear it so I'm not going to show the feet part because I have plans to wear this with some white tennis sneakers. I didn't buy them yet for the spring and summer. So, yeah. But you can also wear this with, like, heels to dress it up as well. But I really love this look. I think that it's super sportsy and cute. And I just love it. I love the Ivy Park detail going down the front um, and also the mesh sleeves. So, I love this piece and I cannot wait. Okay, so this is the next thing I can't wait to wear. This is like a ruffle top. I believe I got this from Miss Guided. Um, it needs to be pressed out just a little bit so it can lay a little bit better. The sleeves are off the shoulder as well. And I just paired it with some clear heels. So, so this is the next item. This is like a cute spring like dress this is off the shoulders as well i got this from boohoo I just put this together with like nude heels um but i do think that this can go with like strappy heels to make it look a little bit more playful this looks very contemporary like i'm going to work or something like that but you can wear it with like strappy heels or sandal heels but i love the fit of this once again i got this from boohoo Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later in the day and I really needed to do a woosah from the remote teaching and the calling girl. If you are a teacher or guy, if you are a teacher, my heart definitely goes out to you because I know it's already a lot adjusting to this new normal, but then also to teach from home, teach your life because girl. Anyways, I really wanted to sit down and have this conversation and have it be a part of the blog because I have been learning so much about um, just God and his true nature and who he is as a person. And just by reading um, Isaiah 40 onwards, I've been truly, truly blessed in this season. So I encourage you guys, if you're struggling to upkeep your faith during this time, if you're struggling to just know where God is and who he is in this moment, definitely read the book of Isaiah. In chapters 40 onward is more so about comfort. So um, it was a scripture that I really resonated with and I just feel that um, it helped me to see things a little bit clearer and to take my eyes off of what's not important in this season um, just because there's so much that's unknown, right? So we're constantly scrolling through social media or going on news websites, going on Twitter, checking this, checking that, asking yourself, when is this going to be done? When God just truly wants us to tune into him. Um, and one verse that really stood out to me was Isaiah 40 verses um, 6 through 8. And it says, all men are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God stands forever. Um, so when you think about people, that's like our leaders, people who so post on social media, our peers, our friends, like people are mortal, but God's word is truly what is eternal. Um, and it helps us to plug into the source. So for me, I know I've been taking a ton of social media breaks. I'm like, mm-mm. Girl, I can't take it. I can't see it. Like, I can't. I have to control everything that's coming at me because it's nothing but information. Like, literally nothing but information. Um, so I took it upon myself to be like, listen, I need to build stricter boundaries and, like, really plug into what's important. Um, and I've been finding just me every day setting the tone for my day, even if it's, like, in the middle of the day and I need a reset girl 
I've been feeling so much better mentally because God's word and knowing his true nature and really knowing him is very important during this season, all seasons, just in life. <laughs> I don't know how people do it without God. Um, but me specifically, I've been really going through the book of Isaiah. Um, and even yesterday when I read Isaiah 41, where he used Cyrus the second and just thinking about he was a pagan ruler and we think about like donald trump and yeah like he's a christian but like we don't we see otherwise right so god even used this pagan ruler during this time it's important to read the word but i think it's also important for us to pray for our leaders during this time because even though someone can be acting reckless like you know doing the most craziest thing like if god is all-knowing and sovereign and if you truly believe that and you know that he's all powerful then he can even reach yes donald trump <laughs> so um we really need to be encouraged to be in our word and um i know that god has been asking me daily like i've been feeling the holy spirit like if i don't spend time with god my mind is literally all over the place there has been times where i'm like making phone calls and trying to do stuff for work and i just feel i'm a little off and i'm like god i need you to reset my day in this very moment um so i just encourage you guys to plug into the word of god for me isaiah 40 doing this study um on these chapters chapter isaiah 40 onwards have been really really eye opening for me during this time because this is when god comforts the people of israel and i feel like at this time god we need god to comfort us um and although this is this everything that applied in these books may not um apply to us i feel like god's nature is truly what i'm tapping into as i read so i hope that you guys are encouraged i'm gonna end the vlog here please let me know down below if you like these type of videos to me i feel like vlogging is something i always wanted to do and i feel like i didn't have the time or i wasn't confident enough so you let me know if you like these videos um of course as i do it over and over i will get better and when I, we get actually outside it will be more interesting so i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys